up y'all it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel so today is an exciting day because today we are decorating our entryway I am so excited y'all because it has been a, a long time coming and I am so ready to go ahead and knock this out <laughs> so we can move on to something else. You guys have seen that we haven't rushed to decorate our house at all. We've like really been taking our time and like really being intentional as far as like what we buy, um, kind of like thinking through like the overall like idea or concept or aesthetic that we want for a certain space. And this space here is no different. You guys saw in the vlog where I did the vases that we end up getting this table here from Restoration Hardware Outlet. Um, we found it, we both loved it, which is very, very rare. And so I was like, I knew that we had to go ahead and get it since me and Dion hardly ever agree on like actual furniture and home decor. And then I actually found this mirror. It was really, really hard to find um, one like this that was large enough to kind of fill up most of the table. And that gave off like that modern, you know, industrial kind of vibe. Um, and so I got this mirror here from Rejuvenation. And so we had someone come and mount it on the wall because me and Dion were not gonna trust ourselves to do that, especially because this mirror is like really, really heavy. Like it's really great quality. I mean, it's expensive, so it should be good quality, but it was like super heavy. So um, we had someone come and professionally mount it. And so this, is all we have so far. Okay, so here is a much better view of the space. So again, here's a closer look at the table that we got that we are obsessed with. I'll leave the name to it down below, but this table here actually comes in two finishes and we love it. Just look at the details. Here are my DIY vases. I already went ahead and added in some olive branches that I got from Hobby Lobby. This vase was big and the opening is really wide, so I wanted to like kind of fill it up without making it look too full. So I just bought the single branches. It just looks like this and then it stuffed them all in there. And that's literally all we have so far. But y'all know me and you guys know that I have um, an obsession or honestly an addiction to like home decor shopping. And for me, I always say like if I see something that I like, I'd rather go ahead and get it right then um, and then bring it home and then, you know, play around with it, see if it works or not. And then if it doesn't work, just return it instead of not getting it, especially places like Home Goods, because y'all know how it is at like Home Goods and like those kind of stores. If you don't get it right then when you see it, it is almost guaranteed that whenever you go back to get it, it will not be there anymore. All of it except for two lampshades all came from Home Goods, like just about everything. Um, I went to at home to get some um, extra lampshades. So I got this one here, this just plain gray one, and then this black one here. Um, again, kind of saw it, grabbed it, don't even know which one I'll use or if I'll use them at all. And then I end up getting or finding these three vases here at Home Goods. They each have a completely different style and aesthetics. So this one's like a really cool, you know, brown, tan, and black, you know, printed uh, lamp. Love the base on this one. This one here actually kind of plays more into those like earth tones or like jewel tones. I don't know, it's like a really pretty um, green at the top and then like a really cool, um, almost like cement. I think that it is a cement. I can't really tell, but it's like a really um, nice muted brown. And then you have the brass. And then over here we have this really cool um, white stone or like white concrete, whatever this is. I don't even know what this is, but it's really cool um, finish and design. And I went ahead and actually got the extra lampshades because these two here, um, if I am going with those, they only came with these like ugly um, white shades. So I'm like, okay, if I go with either one of these, I'm gonna have to change out the lampshade. So that is why I got these. I also got some decorative boxes. I honestly, you guys, like I said, I kind of just bought stuff that I liked and was like, oh, let's just see <laughs> what happens. I got both of these, of course, from Home Goods. This one has more of like a more earthy, more boho vibe. Um, it's from the brand Tony Bahama. And this one I liked because, again, you guys know our one of our accent colors is brass, and I love color, like this particular finish of brass is my favorite. It's like a really cool like cloth 
or like woven material. It's really nice. And it was on clearance for $17 because it has some scratches at the top. Over here, I have a ton of decorative books or accent books. Y'all know how much I love accent books. And it's funny because Dion teases me about like how I always like, uh, you know, reach for like books or candles and things like that. Um, but I feel like everyone has like their go-to decorative pieces. So like for me, mine are books um vases and candles like you will probably find those in just about every room in our house but yeah i have a bunch of books here i got them all except for this one the homebody book by joanna Gaines. i got this one from target but everything else is from amazon and then the top three have covers and they're all neutral whenever you remove um the covers which i like so like this one here this is the Kinfolk one. This one here is just a plain beige. This Vogue on location book is just a plain black. And then the homebody book is just really cute, like tan color. I also have some other little knickknack pieces that I found um, from Home Goods, except for that candle. That brass candle is from Target, but oh, and this right here, this little thing right there is from Pottery Barn and then everything else is from Home Goods. These are just little like knickknack kind of filler pieces like I have my picture frames. Um, you guys know how much I love petrified wood. <laughs> I literally cannot get enough of it. Um, I have some really dope uh, petrified wood shakers on our breakfast table. Um, and so whenever I saw these at Home goods, I was like, uh, yes, please. And then of course, whichever ones I don't use, I'm gonna return them. I have some candles, getting picture frames. I have a basket just in case. So basically, I'm gonna just get to work and just start playing with everything, kind of just like, you know, changing positions, all that good stuff, you know, see where I wanna play stuff. Do I wanna do books, do I wanna do candles, lamp, whatever. See how it turns out, and hopefully, it all comes together. version one the entryway table styling and I think it looks okay but I feel like something is missing because to me like this side right here flows with the rest of the house but I feel like when you go or turn this way this isn't quite doing it for me like I don't know I love the books and I love, you know, like the black accent piece right here, but this is just coming off way too boho. The candle, just, even the lamp is just, uh, it's a nice lamp, it's just not giving me what I need. And I feel like this aesthetic doesn't quite go with like our style. Does that make sense? Let me go ahead and do version two of this. we're getting closer to our aesthetic and like our overall design style um, to make it more cohesive with the rest of the house. Um, I love this box so much more than the other one. Um, it's definitely more um, of our style. Um, not sure if that'll stay there for now, but I just put this black candle on top. And then I also love this lamp. Um, so much more because since it has more of like a natural material, like a natural finish, it ties in so much better with what's down there and then also like even the table. Like it just looks, fits in a lot better. Um, I added on the black lampshade, which looks much better than that white one I had or that was on there originally. This lamp here um, is actually pretty short, so um, I raised it a bit with two of those books. So I originally thought to put this little piece here um, against the back of the books or like a bookend, but I don't know. I need to tweak it just a little bit more to get the overall look, but I feel like I'm getting there. It's just not quite there yet.
think that I got it right where I want it. So here's some of like a, a far back view. So I actually went and grabbed those garland beads that um, were in our living room around the candle on the coffee table. I thought to grab those because um, I really wanted to use this dish here and I felt like I needed something to kind of tie in the different shades of beige from like down here to in the center to this end right there. And so I bought those over here and then put them in the box kind of just like had them like hanging out like I have here and then kind of just tilted the lid of the box and I love it. <laughs> put that petrified wood dish right here um, just to act as like an easy um, like key holder or whatever um, on the entryway table. So whenever Dion walks in, he just like drop his keys right there. Um, I had this picture frame here that I got from Home Goods. It was like $5 um, and I put that there right next to the books. And I like this flow because you have like the, the high, medium, and the low. You guys know I love, love, love to um, mix and match different heights. Here's the candle that I picked up from Home Goods. It's just a plain, small black candle. Um, if I do keep it, I'll just take off the price tag and the label with some goo gone so that way whenever it's up here, like it'll just be a plain, simple, minimal candle so essentially whenever you come in the door this is what you'd see and i love it area I want to show you guys really, really quickly um, our screened in patio these two here are acting funky because of how you know windy it is but essentially it's supposed to look like this so it's actually called mosquito curtain so essentially there's like sheer um, mesh panels that has magnets going down the center of them to kind of keep them closed and so normally on a normal day you know the panels are closed and look like are supposed to look like this um, but we love it I mean it has significantly reduced the amount of bugs um, that get in through here um, we still have some critters every now and then but like nothing even nearly as severe as it used to be but um, we love it you just walk through there and then whenever you walk back through it just reconnects and it's attached up there you can't really see because the lighting is not that great but um, they're attached up along the roof of um, our covered patio. It's, again, normally on a normal day, it looks much better. So just imagine it looked like this all the way around. That is how our screened in patio looks. And then I got some requests to show you guys um, our outdoor dining table that we got. Um, so you all have already seen these chairs. They're the same set that we got from Target. Yes, I saw the plastic on, do not judge me. <laughs> it's been raining a lot around here, so it's like, I don't know, I'm just kind of weary about taking it off because I don't want to ruin um, the actual cushions. Um, but here's the table that we got um, from somewhere else. I can't remember the name of the place. Honestly, I had never heard of this online store before. I think I just Googled like outdoor dining slated table or something like that. I don't know, whatever I Googled. It's pretty much the exact same aesthetic or style as the coffee table and as the little end table down there. So it's that same kind of steel slated um, design. Not an exact match because this one right here, like the slates actually have like this pattern, um, but it still looks phenomenal. Um, it was long enough to fit all the chairs and all that good stuff, so it looks perfect. And then I just put uh, that concrete bowl right there in the center. Will it stay there? Who knows, but for right now it's just right there. Just kind of fill up some of that space. But me and Dion love, love, love the table. Okay, now, not gonna lie, putting up or installing those mesh panels outside um, to, you know, screen in our patio was a headache, okay? So essentially what we did is we found this place online that does like custom screens, whatever that you can just do yourself at home. 
And so all we had to do was just send in the measurements of like the actual openings, you know, like the height, the width, all that good stuff. And then they just, you know, send you the mesh panels and you have to actually install it yourself. The problem is, is that online, like they made it seem so easy, like it was just so easy to install, blah, blah, blah. We actually hired someone to come do it for us because it, we just wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> we didn't like doing it, too hot outside. And But we had thought that it was gonna take like a couple hours to do. It took the guy that came to do it like two days. And the reason why is because there are a lot of steps involved with installing those mesh panels that they don't tell you online. And there are steps that in, that in our opinion that they could have done before they shipped it to us to like cut them on a time in half. So it was like significantly more cost effective because had we gone through like an actual company to like come and screen our patio and all that good stuff, it would have cost probably like four times the amount that it actually cost us to do it ourselves. And mind you that even though it took that guy two days, that's two days with me and Dion helping him. And me and Dion were like, dang, like if we knew that we would have to help, like we would have just paid someone more money to come do the whole thing themselves. It was cost effective, it was affordable, you know, it definitely saved us some coins, but it was just a headache. It's done, it actually works. I, I go out there to read and work and all that good stuff, so it's cool. But those are all of the home updates we have for now. So now it's just really our room, our bathroom, and then the front um, formal dining spaces. So uh, we'll definitely tackle that soon. Not quite sure how soon, but of course you guys will see all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this home decor haul slash decorate with me slash home updates video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.